Go to cgtrader.com and download the Wood 18 texture. Unpack the texture. In Keyshot we want to get out of GPU rendering and turn on performance mode again. Open the scene tree. Hide the parts with the brass material and the leather seat we textured in part 1. Now we have only the wooden parts left. We only need one of the rectangular and one of the cylindrical parts. Hide everything except leg 4 and handle R. You can press Ctrl Alt right mouse button to center on the selected part. In the material tab we want to apply the wood texture. For now we use a texture map to see how the image will be mapped. As a reference we can see the growth rings on this piece of wood. On a cylindrical piece of wood these rings cover the front and stretch all along the side to the end. We could assume the best mapping for that would be cylinder. Let's place it at the position of the handle. Now we see that the wood texture is stretched on the side. What if we rotate the cylinder to fit the handle? We also get that stretching on the front because the cylindrical mapping does only cover the sides of the cylinder and the texture at the very top gets stretched to the middle to fill out the space that is not covered. So we still have to use box mapping instead. Before we set up the texture we need to unlink the material to have a separate one for the rectangular parts. We also need to apply this material to the other handle.
first unlink it. Now it works. The texture is still aligned to the outer ring of the cylinder. We need to fit its direction to the x-axis. Increase the size of the wood texture by lowering the resolution to 300 dpi. The texture is now properly mapped. Delete the texture and add a 3D paint material. Then add the wood texture and the material graph. Fit to X axis and set it to 300 dpi. Now we can finally start painting. Looks good so far. Also paint the other handle. We already have a separate material for the rectangular part but we still have to set up the mapping. Box mapping is obviously needed. But we want the lines on the side to follow the structure of the part. Therefore we need to change the UV angle 90 degrees. Now switch to a 3D paint material and set up the image texture and mapping again.
As we can see the structural lines of the wood are going along the sides from top to bottom. Paint the rest until it's all covered by the wood texture. We still need to add the bump and roughness channels. Activate GP rendering to make the bump visible. We set the bump to negative 0.06. Add roughness and a color to number node in between. This is not perfect, play around with the settings until you are satisfied. Quickly paint over the rest of the wood and parts.
Also add some bump and roughness to the handles. This will do. See you in the next part.